Hello and welcome to another episode of Old Game, New Feel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a game called Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. Now for those of you who are not familiar with this particular franchisee, I'd be surprised. <laughs> but um, in case you are not familiar, let me just give you a little bit of a backdrop of what this game is about. The plot, the setting, who has developed it and all that. Now that's the gig that I follow in all my videos. So here's a little bit of information about Final Fantasy 13. Now it's an action role-playing game developed by Square Enix. It's a direct sequel to Final Fantasy 13 2. And it concludes the storyline of Final Fantasy 13. Now, this game was released way back in 2013 um, in uh, Japan. Uh, in North America, it was released in 2014. And um, the main protagonist of the game, just as the name suggests, is Lightning. All right. Now, the game's story, as far as the plot line goes, it takes place 500 years after the previous game's ending. So that's why I told you, you know, it's a direct sequel to Final Fantasy 13 2. So Lightning is the main protagonist of the game. And um, what you basically find yourself in is this situation where you've been in this deep sleep for a very, very long time. And you've been chosen by a deity or a kind of a god to save this world, this universe that you're watching in this video and um, save them from a dying world. So you're going to have a lot of friends, a lot of allies from the previous games as well. And um, it opens with a very cool cutscene, as you can see. Now, the quality of the cutscenes is incredible. I mean, you'd be surprised that this game came out in 2013. Now, that's how good the quality of the cutscene really is. Now, these are obviously pre-rendered cutscenes, but even the in-game cutscenes are really, really good. So, one quick information that I want to give you is that when you see an opening cutscene as soon as you enter the game, right? It's the same cutscene, but it's kind of like an intro, so skip it. Don't watch it, because it's the same cutscene, but without the... Um, uh, the audio, audio meaning the dialogues audio. So once you get into the game, you will again have to see the same cutscene, which is roughly around six and a half to seven minutes long. So I would advise just hit the A button as soon as you can when you see a cutscene, get into the game and then see the cutscene. So just thought I'd let you know because I ended up watching the whole cutscene the first time and I had to watch it the second time again. This time with the dialogues, obviously. I was, I was kind of wondering, you know, what's wrong? Why can't I hear the dialogues? And when I finally entered the game, and I saw this particular cutscene that you're looking at right now, I finally figured out. But hey, but that's, that's just silly me. I hope you guys don't make the same mistake, and that's why, you know, I thought I'll mention that as well. So, um, now, this game, yes, it's old. It's almost, you could say, if it came out in 2013, that means that this game is around nine years old. Shows its age, definitely, in uh, places, not in the cutscenes, for sure. So um, the cutscenes are really, really high quality. I mean, this is like a 3D movie quality cutscene that you're looking at. And the characters in this world, I mean, every single character, whether it's your supporting cast or whether it's your main character, they've really invested their time in developing these characters you could say now this is a third person game and you'll get to see you know i'm gonna talk about the uh, battle system as well when we finally get into that right now you know just just enjoy the cutscene i would say and just be surprised as i was you know when i saw this because i'm taking a look at this in 2022 on the series s and that's what the series has been about um, I just don't want to cover games on the Series S. I also want to cover games on the PlayStation 5 because the PlayStation 5 also benefits from some games which have actually been enhanced. No Not on paper like Xbox advertises it. Like this game benefits from the FPS boost. So you don't really have that concept, you know, where it has a title like an FPS boost or something on the PlayStation, but it definitely benefits 
from uh, enhancements on the new gen consoles. So um, now we move from the pre-rendered cutscene over to the in-game cutscene. And now you'll be able to see, you know, the difference in quality between the pre-rendered and the in-game. Now, this game, because of the FPS boost, runs a solid 60 FPS. And you will definitely notice that when the character is running around. The one thing that I've always loved about Final Fantasy games is the soundtrack. And this game doesn't disappoint in that department because the soundtrack, just like any of the other Final Fantasy games, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, it, it sounds like, you know, the, the whole orchestra has come together and, you know, created these fine, fine pieces, a lot of stringed instruments. And it it's brilliant. I mean, I'm a fan of um, the Final Fantasy series because of the soundtrack. One of the reasons is that. The other reasons, you know, would be the cool cutscenes, the character development, you know, that we find in uh, these Final Fantasy games. Lightning is definitely one of those characters that you will like. You will definitely love. Now, as you can see, this is an in-game cutscene, and it looks super smooth because of the FPS boost, and it really lends um, a lot of, um, you could say, additional boost to the visual fidelity of the game, and FPS boost makes a huge, huge difference. I may sound like a broken record for people who have been following my channel, but for those of you who are new and who are watching my video for the first time, FPS boost makes a massive difference in the way the game looks on your Xbox Series S. And if you club it with a good television, a good television which also has very good motion, um, like you know, MEMC or Judder Reduction, like I play my games on my Samsung AU9070. So um, it's a really smooth experience. <laughs> now here, you know, I chose to go along with the tutorial just so that you know you also know there's a lot of reading that you have to do, but the attacks are very, very simple. Now, this is what they call the style change active time battle system. So it uses elements from the active time battle system, you know, from the first and the second Final Fantasy 13 games. So there's a lot of similarity there. But um, it, it does not feel like, you know, the earlier games where you had a turn-based battle system. This feels more real time. So you have like, you know, different, you could say, uh, meters or gauges and um, you have to button mash because you have to attack and you can run out of, you know, certain, you could say, um, uh, certain things on, you know, these different gauge meters. You can switch between, you know, different styles. So that's what they call it, you know. Now, <clears throat> you can attack the enemies using RB. You can even switch which enemy to attack later on. I'll show you that as well. So there are basically two modes. One is like the savior mode that you're looking at. So you keep on attacking, you keep on attacking. And um, once you run out of that, you could say juice in this particular meter, then you can switch over to the other style. So there are two styles that you start off with. Very straightforward. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this type of an action or a battle system, um, it can get a little repetitive, especially if you are at it for a long time. I'm not a fan of this type of a battle system. I like games like Devil May Cry or even the uh, latest Final Fantasy games. And I'm even looking forward to the uh, one which is coming out this month in March. So, um, as you can see, you know, I mean, you can even guard. So there's like a guard and it's very simple. I mean, no rocket science. Even if you don't take the tutorial like I did, I think the UI makes it very easy to follow what you can do as far as the game's action system goes. So this is really smooth. I mean, everything looks really, really smooth. I'm just walking around a little bit so that you can see. Now, finally was able to block it. So if you block it, 
on time then you know i mean you get a meter boost or you know some kind of a boost so all these things will definitely make a difference when you battle those big guys you know i mean big bosses and all that stuff so so there you go i mean that's pretty easy and i am playing this game on the easy mode as you can see you know i play all my games on the easy mode only now the graphics well it looks great the character design is fantastic i mean the the fabric on lightning it looks brilliant even when the character is moving around uh the way the fabric moves is great i mean the level design i was just panning the camera around because i just wanted you to see how good the level looks and it's those fine details that make a difference you know from the tiles to the pillars your you could say the textures look pixelated because hey it's a game from 2013 come on what do you expect out of it <laughs> um so yes it does show its its age in certain areas but for most of it it does a very decent job and that's what this uh, series for me has been about i mean picking up these old games and then experiencing them again especially after they have received the fps boost so um it's it's your standard rpg affair i mean you get people that you would come across where you'd be able to buy trade stuff etc so yeah i'm just talking up on some uh, health potions so that i can use them a little later on in the game so you already have been introduced to two main characters so far i just spotted snow so lightning definitely and then snow two main characters in this game and when i'm sprinting you can see the smoothness in this game now this game is very similar to devil may cry when you're moving around except for the battle system i do prefer devil may cry over this type of a battle system i'm not a fan of turn based rpgs or even this kind of a battle system what final fantasy likes to call active time battle it's definitely better than the turn based but still is monotonous so i would say that hey that's just me you know a lot of people like this type of a battle system so different strokes for different folks this is subjective so please be kind on me um and i would completely understand if you love this kind of a battle system because hey everybody you know likes different types of games different types of battle systems etc i personally don't like this type of a battle system that's all i'm saying and that that's what these videos are about you know where i'm sharing my experiences with you lovely folks so that's what my personal opinion is now as far as the production quality of the game goes i am highly impressed because everything is detailed you know i mean the level has a lot of detail um the walls as you can see it has a lot of intricate you could say art on it and um the the floor the tiling everything is meticulously designed so kudos to the game designers they have actually spent a lot of time in designing the levels and um if you get levels which look very very similar then um hey i mean you wouldn't really like it right you need some kind of variety so here we've moved on in the same level to a lot of different areas and these areas have a very different feel So that's what I appreciate about it. You know, when it comes to the game development, when developers, you know, keep that in mind, um it's definitely something that needs to be appreciated. So like I was saying, you are following this other main character Snow and uh you have finally awoken from um, this kind of a stasis. Um so you've been sleeping for a very very long time. Now the world that you're in it's supposed to end i think in a matter of a few days so it's really up to you to save humanity to save people's souls free them ultimately and um you are this kind of a savior that's why you know even the other characters know he refers to you as the savior yeah because you're kind of like a chosen one 
by this deity called Bruni Welze. I'm not sure if I'm butchering the name, but uh, <laughs> I think that's that's what the name is. So there are some you could say um, characters or names that you would get from uh, Norse mythology as well. Like um, you will come across Odin. So these are all names that have been inspired by the Norse mythology. And uh, even while the game's on, I don't know if you are paying attention to the uh, soundtrack, how it switches when you are in the battle mode. But again, I would just like to mention that I personally find this a little monotonous and maybe I'm even sounding monotonous talking about the monotony of the active battle system. <laughs> now the particle effects etc are really good. The smoke looks a little heavy, a little dense. Um, could have benefited from, you know, maybe looking a little more lighter instead of being this dense but the other particles like you know the fire particles etc they look fantastic and the cutscenes even the in-game cutscenes I must tell you are incredible you can see when you're inside this stuff hmm. and you can't be one of God's regular lackeys here's another character called Lumina I mean, this is your typical Japanese RPG, you know, fair. If you've played Japanese RPGs, then you would know, you know, it looks like this. But hey, look at look at this this guy, you know, this this beast here. Quite a hefty fella. And um, even the enemy design is decent. It, it's not it's not silly. Because in um, some games, you know, you may come across very silly enemy designs. So in this case, yeah, the enemy design is quite good. And here, you know, you get to see what the thunder part of it can do. So there's a little bit of variety, a little mix and match, you know, for you to overcome this particular enemy character. So there are some more buttons. Now, if you are new to the franchise, then it would be advisable for you to take a tutorial. Um, but in case you're coming from the previous two games, I think you'll feel right at home. It's not very different because it does uh, take a lot of elements from the previous two games. So here, you know, you switch between the two different modes. Here, there's the dark muse mode. Even your costume actually changes. I don't know if you noticed that, but your costume also changes when you take on the dark muse mode. So when you overclock, again, I mean, all these things are in real time in games like uh, Devil May Cry, etc. Where you take an enemy down and then, you know, you can just button mash and get rid of the enemy. Alrighty. That was easy. Now, playing this game on the easy mode is easy. <laughs> Listen, hope. All right. Now, as far as lightning goes, let me know, you know, what you think about the character. I feel, you know, this particular character was beautifully designed. The character looks gorgeous. Um, really powerful, by the way. And um, she is a character which you will be invested in. So it's definitely one of those characters uh, that you'll come across in video games that you will feel for. So that's good about lightning. So the gameplay is pretty straightforward as well. I don't know if you have noticed this, but it's um, a little bit of action, a little bit of lo roaming around. And um, then, you know, you are finally going to get a lot of cutscenes. So it has a lot of storytelling or narrative elements that are told with the help of these high quality cutscenes. So it's not like images or pictures that they are showing. These are high quality cutscenes. Look at the animation quality. Even the lip movement. 
I'm sure it's not motion capture because the expressions on the face are pretty much uh, just one expression you could say. But the lip movement is top notch and it is in sync with whatever dialogues are being spoken. See, I mean, it's it's fantastic. 60 FPS again, brilliant. FPS boost makes a heck of a difference when it comes to playing this game. And it really rejuvenates a game. And if you have played this game before on the Xbox 360, because this is originally an Xbox 360 title. So if you have played this game on the original Xbox 360, then you are going to enjoy this version of the game with the 60 FPS. That's what the Xbox Series S helps you get. I mean, 60 FPS, a smooth 60 FPS. Fantastic. I mean, the experience so far has been really good. And although this game is old, apart from the active battle system, I would say I really quite enjoyed the first 30 minutes. And I could see myself investing more time into this character, into this game. Maybe, you know, into this game because of the character. So, you know, the game's protagonist also makes a huge difference. If the game's protagonist is good, just like in this case, Lightning is a fantastic character, you'd be invested in the game. And if you've got a dull or a boring protagonist, then you would not be. Yeah, there's a little bit of um, kind of like a recap that you get about the first two games. She's speaking about her sister, how she sacrificed herself or, you know, how she died. And a part of why Snow is like this right now is because of the death of her sister, Sarah. So here she's talking about that stasis that I was talking about a little earlier. And again, these in-game cutscenes are brilliant. I mean, it's high quality, guys. And you'd be surprised that this is nine years old. Because it's, it is that good. Now, some people like this character, some people don't. I particularly, you know, like Lightning. It's really good. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls. And then there are some pre-rendered cutscenes as well. You'd be able to tell the difference between these pre-rendered and in-game cutscenes. Now this is an in-game cutscene. Because the in-game cutscenes are 60 FPS, whereas the pre-rendered cutscenes are 30 FPS. So there is a difference between that. I believe it's in 30 FPS, the pre-rendered cutscenes. So here, there's a little bit of variety as well. Again, you know, it just gives you an idea as to what kind of level designs you can expect out of this game. Your this particular level looks very different to the level that you were in. And it just shows you the scale, scope, size of the game and um, how good the game looks. Now, apart from the Jaggies, because this is a game from 2013, I think the game holds really well, given the fact that I'm playing this on the Xbox Series S in 2022. So the FPS boost has really made this game feel a lot better. And in case you want to pick it up, it's even on Game Pass, so you don't have to spend anything extra. To pick it up, check out the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. And um, yeah, if you like the video, then please do hit that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. Well, I'd say it's a wrap for this one. And uh, I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, keep playing guys. Take care of yourselves. Happy gaming. Stay safe. And I'll say, may God bless you all.